The South Granville Senior Center really is one of the only services available for seniors in this area. Um, there's a large population of seniors living around here, many living in one-bedroom apartments or who are quite isolated. So this is the place that they come to maintain connections with community and maintain friendships with one another. But this place is basically their hangout. This is where they come to hook up with their friends, um, whether it's to play a game of bridge, to do some yoga, um, have lunch, um, what have you. It's really, for many of our seniors, what they tell, tell me is this is their home away from home. It's been my lifeline. It's been wonderful. Everyone is nice and welcome, and uh, it's no problem to, uh, to come here, and you always find someone to talk to or something, someone to go together with to some activity. You can, you're never lonely if you come here, you know. For 40 some years uh, I lived in Ottawa and because both my sons were out here in Vancouver, I moved out here after I retired. But I didn't know anyone in Vancouver other than, uh, you can't rely on my poor sons who were, after all were, had their own lives to lead. It's been great about meeting people here because they're from all different walks of life, all different parts of the country. Not too many were born and bred in, in Vancouver. We have a lot in common and uh, there are a lot of people in them. Um, they make no difference in your age or status or, or you're treated as a human being and not just as a dear old thing, you know. The feeling that, that folks come away with when they walk in our doors is a real feeling of warmth, a feeling of welcome. Most people have said to us that they feel a lot less isolated since they've come to the South Granville Senior Center. One woman I know just recently moved here from Toronto and on day number three she showed up at our doors at South Granville Senior Center. She now volunteers reception once a week. She's a seniors housing information counselor. She's just so involved in her community and she said, you know, this place has saved me. Otherwise, I would just be a burden on her adult son, hanging around him all the time, or she wouldn't have any friends. You really don't come with the expectation of getting it's friendship and companionship, but you, it's what you give to it that counts, I think. We have received funding from the Vancouver Foundation a while back um, to do our lobby renovations that you, you can see. And just beautiful, beautiful job that uh, we were able to do with funds from the Vancouver Foundation. We also receive funding through the City of Vancouver Social Planning and through the BC Gaming Commission. There is um, social programs um, some examples of social programs are Bridge, for example, and Bridge um, is a very popular game with a lot of our seniors and has proven effects to help seniors' memory. A lot of them don't want to cook for themselves or get tired of eating by themselves from time to time, so we put on a three-course lunch twice a week for our seniors. Keeping your mentally alert with so many activities that we have here, and, and there's such a big choice, large. When you say big, large, there's a great, there's a choice of activities. It's a fun place. I enjoy coming here. I really do. 